is mommy crying, guys? <laughs> mommy, <laughs> why are you crying? The onion. The onion is, is making me cry. Why do onions make you cry? Good question. Be right back. I'll answer it for you. Let's go. <laughs> Where did mommy go? Welcome to Ryan Toy Mobile. Did you know that babies only blink about two times per minute? That's a long time without blinking. But babies, they also cry a lot, so they don't need to replenish their tears as fast as you and me. It's okay, Jack Jack. Oh, Did you know that our eyes produce three different types of tears? The first one is called emotional tears. <laughs> It's okay, Jack Jack, don't be sad. I'm right here. When babies are sad, they cry, just like Jack Jack do. But you can also have other emotional tears, like happy tears. Like when it's your birthday and you open a present and it's a puppy. Oh, I'm so happy I can cry. <laughs> Sean, are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm okay. I'm just so happy. Here's oh. a tissue. Okay, thank you. Don't worry. These are happy tears. Oh, yeah, this is a happy, happy. I'm very happy. Happy birthday. <laughs> the second type of tears are reflex tears. Reflex tears protect your eyes from irritant in the air, just like how goggles protect your eyes. Have you guys ever cut open an onion? Does it make you cry? <laughs> oh, oh, don't worry, I'm just cutting an onion. The onion releases irritant that goes in the air, and the eyes produce reflex tears to protect itself. Oh, uh. Our third types of tears are called basal tears. We always have basal tears in our eyes so they can make sure that our eyes don't dry out. Our body produces between five to 10 ounces of basal tears per day. So it's between this much, five ounce. Look, this is what it would look like. Whoa. And the 10 ounce. Whoa. So this is five ounce of basal tears, and this is 10 ounce of basal tears. That's a lot of tears to produce every day. Wow, we learned so much about all the different type of tears we have. Now it's time for a quiz. Question number one. Why do we have tears? Is it because A, our three kinds of tears shows emotion, protects our eyes, and prevent our eyes from drying out? Is it B, they were leftovers for when we were a baby. Oh, it's okay. Or is it because C, we drink water. So why do we have tears? It's because to help us show emotion, protects our eyes, and preventing them from drying out. Question number two. How many kinds of tears do we have? Is it A, three tears? B, a hundred tears? Or C, a million different type of tears? The answer is A, we have three different types of tears. Emotional tears, reflex tears, and basal tears. Question number three. When you cut an onion, what tears does that produce? Is it A, funny tears? <laughs> is it B, purple tears? Or is it C, reflex tears? The answer is C, reflex tears. Great job! Did you guys get the answer right? If you didn't, it's okay. You can try again next time. For now, let's go back and tell Ryan all about tears. Okay, let's go. Woo! Boss Baby, stop crying. You keep crying. It's okay, Boss Baby. So, Ryan, that is why you cry. 
Oh, okay, but why is Boss Baby crying? Oh no, maybe he needs something like a nap. Oh, okay. There, there, Boss Baby. There, there. Bye-bye. Yay, he stopped crying! Yay! Thank you for watching our Why Do We Cry video. Bye! And remember, always stay happy and rise up. Don't cry. Bye! seven colors. There's green, there's yellow, there's violet, there's red, there's indigo, there's blue, and orange. Wow, that's a lot of colors. Seven. Whoa, what's wrong, Rainbow? Oh, the rainbow doesn't look too happy. Wait a minute. Something doesn't look right with the rainbow. <gasps> I know, it's in the wrong order. Did you know that the colors of the rainbow are always in the same order? What is it again? What is that order? Hmm. <gasps> it is Roy G. Biv. Say it with me. Roy G. Biv. 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 R is for red. O is for orange, Y is for yellow, G is for green, B is for blue, I is for indigo, V is for violet, Roy G Biv. 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 You got it, that's it. That's the order. Roy G Biv. There we go, now the rainbow looks so happy. So now we know the order and the color of the rainbow, but why did the rainbow appear after the big storm? Oh no, I think a storm is coming. I better use my umbrella. Ooh. I better run inside the house, I'll be right back. Is the storm over? Oh yeah, it is, yay! Now let's see if we can find that rainbow. Where is the rainbow? Ah, ah, there it is! Rainbow! Yay, look at this! Oh, wait a minute, this is not a real rainbow. This is just a pool float. Let's test it out. Whee! Oh, man, this will be so much fun in the pool. So when a storm comes and it rains really hard, it leaves water droplets in the sky. These droplets refract, which means bend, light. So when the sun shines white light on the water droplet, the light bends. And we see all seven colors because they bend at different angles. Red is first, orange is second, yellow is third, green is fourth, blue is fifth, indigo is sixth, and violet is seven. Roy G. Fifth. So seven colors total. The first person to discover how a rainbow works was Sir Isaac Newton. He shines a white light on a prism like this. I'm gonna use a flashlight. Let's test it out. Do you guys see the rainbow right there? Isn't it neat? I also heard there is a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. So let's go catch that rainbow, let's go. Look, there's a rainbow over there. Let's see if we can find the treasure at the end of the rainbow. Hurry, let's go. Whew. Whew. Ah. 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 No, we can do this, we can do this, come on. Oh, are we getting any closer, you guys? Are we? Ah. 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 The rainbow is so far away. I don't think I can ever reach the rainbow. What should I do? Who are you? Hello, I'm a leprechaun. Are you trying to get a hold of me, Pot of Gold? I was trying, I was trying to get to the rainbow, but no matter how fast 
I run, I don't think I can ever get to the rainbow. That's because the rainbow never really ends. As long as the water droplets are in the sky, the sunlight will make the colors appear at the same distance away from you. So if I keep running, I'll never get to the rainbow? No, dearie. Oh man, but then how do you know where your pot of gold is? That's me little secret, but I can share some with you if you want. Yes, please. Thank you so much, Mr. Leprechaun. You're welcome. Don't spend it all at once. I will try my best, but these look so delicious. So, thank you. Yeah, what, what is this? Oh, this is some awesome glasses. What do you guys think? Now that we know so much about Rainbow, let's take a quiz. Question number one, what are the colors of the rainbow? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet? Or is it pink, green, gray, turquoise, black, blue, and tan? Or is it white? Question number two, why do rainbow appear after the storm? So leprechaun can hide their gold, sunlight shines on water droplets and they refract lights, or is it hot outside? Question number three. How many colors are there in a rainbow? 50, one, or seven? Great job, I have so much fun learning about rainbows with you. Now let's share this pot of treasure with Ryan. Let's go! Woo! And that's how a rainbow is formed. And look what I brought for you. What is that? A one million dollar. You what? I didn't even know that was in there. Wow. Oh, oh they're just chocolate. <laughs> chocolate million dollars. Oh, wow, it's huge. Okay, so yeah, and chocolate coins. Wow. <laughs> Thank you for watching our rainbow. Please click on one of these videos for Ryan Toyman and more fun.